hi, John. Oh, hi, John Fugel's saying. <laughs> Is that your little church you want to put in my little steeple? Oh, God. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, it's too early. Oh, but it's not. Hello from the New Hello. York Bureau, kids. <laughs> oh, thank God Ron DeSantis is try- finally doing something about all these teachers yes. teaching kindergartners about gay sex. You know, yes. thank- what yeah. a week. What a week. My child you- was taught about lube and glory holes, and Ron DeSantis stopped it. <laughs> you tweeted, don't say gay won't protect gay kids from anti-LGBT abuse, but it will protect straight kids from having to learn L- anti-LGBT abuse is wrong. Thank you. That sums up yeah, the, whole the whole thing, doesn't it? The whole thing's a fraud. It's all fake. It does nothing to stop grooming. Last night I had a caller. We're going to put this on the new podcast. Uh, and I had to ask this guy. He was in Florida. He was there for the signing. And he was trying to defend the law. And I, I kept saying to him, I asked 10 times, who is being hurt that this law helps? What societal problems does this law prevent? And he couldn't answer. The vagueness is the point, the meanness is the point, and the worst thing about this evil law in Florida is it borrows from the Idaho and Texas and Missouri abortion laws. More or less, it's not don't say gay. You can say gay, but every insane inbred patriot is allowed to sue you for saying gay yeah and that's the whole scam behind it Teachers i just like how many times we've had to say gay in talking about this law already so <laughs> you know how about ronda sandis he doesn't say gay go ahead you go ahead say gay say say gay say gay i mean my god ronda Sa- here's ronda sandis's problem he he is um he's a president trapped in a crappy governor's body but he identifies as a president and if only somehow he could transition into being president by being as mean to gay people as he possibly can you know when i love when you bitch slap us with the bible uh you just tweeted Uh, nobody hates like a christian who's just been told his hate isn't christian mm -hmm. (laughs) right yeah yeah Yeah. well there's nothing christian about the law there's nothing christian about being mean to trans people and trans children and the law helps nobody i mean it's so sinister and and you once again remind us, remember, they've arrested more Republican men in public restrooms than they have trans women. But that's no excuse to demonize and fear all Republican men. Um, it's I plus Marjorie Taylor Greene. Did we ever play that sound by Chris? I don't. Hey, this can you explain to me? I don't understand. She said <laughs> Steve Buttigieg and his <laughs> husband are going to be yes. in bathrooms looking for little girls. I don't. I don't she think she really gets. I don't think it means what work. you think it means being gay men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it's all about pushing more stereotypes that it's gay people who are interfering with children. And every society that has ever kept records will show the overwhelming majority of pedophiles are always heterosexual identified men in every culture, every continent. All all they can do is be mean to marginalized groups because they have nothing to offer non-millionaires. That's the Republican game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you tweeted, I get pleasure from the suffering of people who don't know the meaning of schadenfreude. John, I oh, just no. feel like that's <laughs> mean. That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, you make me yeah. snort. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. What were you saying? I got nothing. Okay. I got nothing. Uh, right. Yeah. How about that Joe Biden, though, huh? How about that speech in Warsaw? We go, this is where we're at. We go from a president not getting in trouble for lying for four years to a president getting in trouble for telling the truth in a speech. That's that's where we're at. people. Yeah. I mean, God. Yeah. Joe Biden. It's a gaffe telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Is there where's the lie that Putin is a butcher and that he should not be in power? Like he didn't say we're going to take him out or his regime changes anyway. No, didn't say regime change. But yeah, I mean, that's a, a gaffe is when you tell the truth. But I'd rather have a president who tells gaffes than a president who lies all the time and has gaffes. You yes. know, it's like, I'll, I'll take old Joe Biden. It's fine. Yes. <laughs>